for you today. We are going to be using a bench, but you can also use a chair if you don't have a bench at home, and one set of dumbbells. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with your warm up. We're going to go ahead and get into that half kneeling hip flexor stretch, hands behind your head, shoulder blades pinched back together, and we're doing that slight rotation. So it's just a really small move. So you're gonna feel a stretch through your back, through the front hip flexor, as well as through the back of your shoulders. Making sure we're not diving our shoulders forward. Really slow and controlled, eight of those on each side. So when you get eight, go ahead and switch sides. Then we're moving on to our hands and knees. And we're doing our quadruped um, T-spine rotation, which if you don't know what that means, that's okay. Here's what it looks like. Your hand's gonna go right behind your head. Elbow touches the other elbow opening up, feeling that really good stretch to the back of the shoulder blade, and then back together. So really good stretch, and then back together. Really good stretch, and then back together. Same thing the other side. So if you're someone who sits a lot for work, this is one of the best stretches you could possibly do. Also for me as a mom, it feels really good. I end up carrying my babies a lot like this, so it ends up stretching out the backs of my shoulders. Next one we're gonna do is our fire hydrants. This is gonna warm up your hips, super important. So our hips really stabilize our lower body and our knees. If you have any knee pain, this is super important. So we're lifting our knee slightly out to the side, small lift, and then back down. Small lift, and then back down. Slight lift, just up and down, okay? Eight of those on each side, making sure we're not driving our knee too high, just small lifts, and then back down. Next one, we're going on to our backs. Palms facing up. I want you to tuck your back flat onto the ground, lift up, squeeze your glutes, and then coming back down. Tuck your back flat, lift, squeeze, and then back down. Again, eight of these on each side. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is called our alternating runner's lunge. So what I'm gonna do here, up onto your hands and toes, I want you to reach your foot towards your hand. Now. If you've done this and you're like, oh, I can't get there, Kim, I can't do it. No worries, drop to your back knee and just feel a really good stretch through your inner thigh. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So we're doing this alternating sides. So I want you to do this eight times on each side. Again, no problem if you drop to your knee. Otherwise, we're gonna try to stay up on that back toe. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do our squat to straight leg, hinging from the hips, grabbing hold of those toes, sinking back down, head is coming out, Pressing back up through your heels, and then right back up. So down, and then right back up. Pressing through those heels, okay? So from the front, making sure we're taking our turtleneck off. What I see a lot happen is people come down and their necks are here, really pressing out of your heels, pressing your arms out, trying to get your head as high as you can. Pressing up, and then coming back down, okay? Next one, our Frankenstein kicks. It is October, Halloween season. We're going back all the way up, back, all the way up, really feeling that stretch in the hamstring. And if you've never done these before and you're feeling a challenge on your balance, go ahead and grab a hold of a wall and do them this way, okay? Next one we're gonna do is, we're gonna do our alternating side to side lunge. So I want you to step out to the side, push your hips back, step together, other side, step together, alternating side, to side lunge. Okay, so that is our warm up. I hope you're feeling warm. I hope you're feeling ready for the rest of the workout. We have five exercises for you. We are using a bench, dumbbells, and that's it. Okay, so I want you to do each of these exercises. I'm gonna move my bench out so you can see me doing these. Um, I want you to do each of these exercises 10 times, okay? So for our first one, um, I just grabbed some 15 pound dumbbells. You can grab whatever you have at your house. And you can also use a chair for this. This is totally fine. So here's a step stool. My daughters use step stools to, um, you know, step on things, you can use a step stool. Whatever you have is available to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and step up. So weights are down by our side. I want you to step up, pull through your heel, lift all the way up, and then coming back down. Pull through your heel, squeeze your glute, and then all the way back down. We're doing 10 of these on each side. So you do one side, then moving to the other side, 10 on the other side, squeezing the glute. Really focus on pulling your body up versus driving off the back leg. So I want you to think about the leg that's on the step, pulling you up each time, squeeze the glute, come back down. My toes 
are flexed up, squeezing my glute, and then coming back down. Okay, next exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and set down one dumbbell, and we are gonna do what I call a three-point row. So, for this one, I think I'm actually gonna show you on the side here. I want you to go weight in your heels, one hand is on the bench, the other hand is reaching down. Your weight is gonna go here, elbow comes right back by your side, squeeze, and then right back down. Squeeze, and then right back down. Pulling that shoulder blade right behind you. You're feeling that really good pinch right behind your shoulder blade. So you're gonna 10 on one side, and then you're gonna go 10 on the other side. Okay, so for our next exercise, you're gonna be doing a split squat. So, what this looks like is it's a rear foot elevated lunge. So we're gonna put our foot on the bench, and you can, you can do this with weights or without weights. It's your choice. So we're gonna grab a hold of our weights. One foot goes up on the bench, the other foot stays down, and your knee is gonna come down to the ground and then drive out of that front leg. Your knee is coming down, drive out of that front leg. So each time, down, and then right back up. Okay, so this next one in this exercise series is we are gonna come down onto the ground if you have a pad, that's great. If not, no big deal. Into this kneeling position. You can use a towel. You can use whatever you have at home. So we're gonna tuck our hip underneath, squeeze our glute, leg is firmly planted on the ground, grab a hold of your weight, press through the sky. So the weight is going in the side that the knee is down. I want you to exhale and press through the sky. We're doing 10 of these on each side. So you're gonna be here, pressing up, and then coming back down. Okay, last one in this series we are gonna be doing is our um, bridges with the bench. Again, you can use a chair, you can use whatever you have at home. We're gonna do our bridges with the bench. So we're gonna go shoulders on the bench or the chair, okay? I want you to go coming down, pressing through your heels, squeezing your glutes. Down, pressing through your heels, squeezing your glutes. We're gonna do 10 of these and then we're gonna cycle back through. So I want you to do three to five rounds of each of these exercises, okay? So you're gonna start with your step ups, then we're moving into our rows, then you go into our split squats, then our single arm presses, and then our bridges on the bench. If you love this workout and you're like, oh, I wish I had more workouts like this, don't worry, I post new workouts every single Monday on Shine Fitness on Facebook, and Kim Kloster and at Kim Kloster on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.